the prophet he told us not to follow hadith here we go guys just to show you one of the stupidity of Islam <clears throat> and just to show you that Islam without lies dies the prophet told us not to follow any hadith contradict the Quran show me the reference secondly you idiot do you do muta? Quran say you do muta. We don't follow hadith contradict the Quran. Quran says you do muta. Hadith says don't do muta. See how hypocrite you are? You nigging in a chicken. Are you an ant? There is an ant in your pant, in case you don't know. Yeah, it's, it's there. The Prophet taught us not to follow hadith that contradict the Quran. And by the way, so the Prophet he said the hadith and the hadith contradict the Quran. And the Muslim wrote the hadith, yet we should not follow the hadith which contradict the hadith, the Quran. I mean, who is the stupid here? So, if it is not to be accepted, why you write it? If it's not true, why you put it there? If it's not proven to be true, why you collect it? Why you write it? So it's true. So that's mean your prophet is crazy. He says something opposite of something else. My friend, I guarantee you, you have an ant in your pant. Now, regarding the ants, God can do anything. No, your God cannot do anything. Can your God have a son? <laughs> he cannot. <laughs> can your God uh, make Muhammad come back to life? Hmm? Can he? Prove it. Jesus, he can. Prove it. Muhammad, he cannot. His God cannot. According to Muslim Muhammad, he have a son. Once he was able to make a woman bread net, but this is not true. I don't believe it. She was a slave. She was having sex with the, her cousin or the neighbors. Uh, and then he was crying because he died. You know, okay, why Allah don't uh, resurrect his son for him? That would be an amazing miracle. Muhammad was sick, dying from poison. Either, either he was, he might have AIDS, he might have cancer. I don't know what he had. But the Muslim, they say, he died because of poison. How you can poison a snake? That is impossible, my friend. That's weird. So, but Muhammad, according to Muslim, he died because of a poison. Why Allah could not save him? Here we go. We have put him in, we put him in the test. If Muhammad is the most beloved person to Allah, why Allah wanted him to die in a horrible death like this, suffering every day in his life for more than four years? Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan? Okay, any half Muhammadan. And by the way, you notice here that Muslims, they have already pre-written pre uh, answers. We reject any hadith contradict, well, all the hadith contradict the Quran. The hadith says you pray five, the Quran says you pray three. Well, what do you mean you pray everything? We reject any hadith, contradict the Quran. Uh, yeah, that's nice. a true story. Yeah. And it, oh, there is no Quran in the Quran where the Quran is just fairy tale stories. Look, guys. And then, brother Suleiman, he have an army of genie and human and birds. What the heck? Solomon, he have an army of a chicken? I feel jealous. An army of... Meet the farmer who is the command. An army of a chicken, brother. Takbir. This is Solomon. Hey, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Attack. <laughs> <laughs> this 
this is the book of God? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, this is too much to handle, to be honest with you. I'm, I became a believer. I just converted now. After seeing Solomon holding his, uh, you know, because Solomon, he holds a stick too, like he's like Musa's, you know? So he have a stick like, Takbir, Allahu Akbar, attack. You know, brother, should we use a chicken to attack the Hindus in India, brother? Brother, we attack all the Indian in the, in the Hindus, you know, Takbir with a chicken. Takbir. The Hindus, they will be scared, they will drop their weapon, and they will leave India, and they will emigrate to Taiwan, 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 yeah. It's Tan and Tai, because, why they call it Tan Wai Yuan, Taiwan, because simply they, there, there's a lot of sun, they make a Tan, and then they won, like, you know, yeah, Taiwan. So, the, 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 right away, we had the Takbir, you know, the chicken come with us, and we do Jihad, and they run away, and we do Jihad, true story. Are you there, Mr. Uh, Neglaseed? The one who says your prophet, if you eat it, it will solve all your problems? Hmm? This is, this is God talking now? And then, look, Suleiman, how friendly he is. He heard the end. He like what she said. I mean, this guy is going in the army to fight, or he is going now in a tourist, and now he is in the valley of the ants, and the... <laughs> Suleiman, he like it. Mm. They are afraid of my feet. Mm -hmm. I'm powerful. <laughs> he like his ego now, like his ego, ego, ego. His ego, like his fairy filled, like, yeah, even ants fear me. Mm. Yeah. True. Yeah, the ants, now they have to hide. Thank you, Allah, for giving me the ability to understand what's going on. Maybe they were talking about me in my back, you know? By the way, when Suleiman, when he was in the valley of the ant, and he took off his pants and he decided to do it to make poo, poo what the ant she said, hide, otherwise the poo, poo of Suleiman will cover you. <laughs> when Suleiman was in the valley of the ant, did he fart? Hide, otherwise the gas of Suleiman will, will kill you. I mean, only Suleiman, what the heck is that, man? That's deep. That is so deep. I love it. I love it. I, I get to, you get to move it, move it. You get to move it, move it. So Suleiman, now he check. He inspected the birds. Look at this guy. Imagine you inspect all those birds we saw in the video. All of them, one by one. And then he found one bird is missing. Unbelievable. He know them by name, by the way. I mean, you can play with Solomon. He know every bird of his army by name. So he arrived to the hubu. He said, where is the hubu? What the heck the hubu is doing? Where is the hubu? The friend of the hubu, they could not, they were shaking. <laughs> uh, the king is here asking, where is the hubu? He said to them, where is the hubu? So the man he looked at them and said, I will surely punish him with severe torment. Yeah, we make him barbecue, man. What's wrong with you? Don't punish him. I will take the feather, do the barbecue, and I will eat it. Just watch. Oh, slaughter him. Like so the man is confused. Shall I punish him by picking up his feather one by one? Like torture, you know? Like hold him, like, you know, you know put him, like, uh, open his wing and tie them up, tie his leg, and start taking his feather one by one? Like, ay, ay. you know, the hubu will uh, suffer bad. <laughs> Good idea. Or slaughter him. I see not the hubu, unless he bring me a clear reason. But look, he's fair. He said to himself, maybe the hoopoe, he went to the bathroom. I mean, things happen. This is God talking? <laughs> Who is a Muslim when I call me and he says, I'm proud about what God is saying? This is what God, he said. This is what God is for, right? Hoopoe. Hmm. 
and Solomon, he want to have sex with 99 women. And then after the guy, he have sex with all those women, Allah gave him half baby. Is that Nadir Ahmad? <laughs> Oh boy. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim here? If there is any Muslim would like to call us and join us live on air, make a challenge. Challenge me. I heard that you Muslim, you could discover like a hundred lies of me. How come none of you dare to call me and show me one? Brother? CP, this hadith is reported by Shushu, and Shushu said to Shushu, and Shushu said to Mimi, but Mimi, everybody knows he's a liar, therefore this hadith is not valid. Hey, hey, we got you busted. Look how easy, brother. So the Muslims, they are saying to us that they have a bunch of liars, Shushu and Fufu and Mimi, and they are not to be trusted, but that we write the hadith and say, this is the Prophet said. I mean, if the guys are a bunch of a fraud, why you write what they say? Why you put it in a book? Hmm. Nice try. <laughs> you know, because I speak too many languages, including the ants, I need to drink water now. Because simply, you see what I do? Uh, I switch between languages by drinking water. Just wait. Hold on, this is a long, long, wrong language. I switched to the wrong. Hold on, let's drink again. Action, action, macht. It's not actually cost. What the heck is? Okay, I think this is the wrong. Let me drink again. Okay, Bismillah. This is the correct language now. Finally. Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. Like, what the heck is that, man? What? Why God? He says in the name of Allah, in His Allah, in the name of a Christian prince. I say to you, hello, marhaba, shish kebab hummus. He will see a Muslim. He don't speak Arabic. He called me and he tried to speak. Like he's speaking Arabic. Like you ask, you ask ultimate fort. He ultimate fort. What it says? He says, show me the Arabic because he want to show you that he he know Arabic. And then you ask him, do you know Arabic? He says, I do not need to. <laughs> so why are you asking me to show me the Arabic? <laughs> oh boy. Do we have any Muslim here? He can have sex with 70 or 90 women in one night. You know, the, the Prophet, he got a dish. And after the dish from Allah, he got the power of uh, uh, 40 men. So how in the world... So a man without the dish, he got the power of 90, to have sex with 90 women. I want to know, without the dish? This guy is born like this? Look, and not only this. Here, look, look just to show you how the, the liar, Muhammad. One hadith that says 70. Do you see it? This hadith here says 70 wives. You go down, just two, two, two centimeter. It says 90 women. Like, what the heck? You go two centimeters more, it is a hundred women. Between two brackets, you know, it says, or 99. 100 women, or 99. Muhammad is not sure, you know, he is not sure. Maybe it is 99, maybe it is 17. Or you know what? Maybe uh, Suleiman, he was repeating the same thing and his wife number was dropping because of too much sex, he killed them. Man, you are the man. You kill the women, don't you? Boom, 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 boom. Never stop the women she have heart attack. He don't even give them a break. Uh, I answered you yesterday, Nigla, are you here? Are, are you a troll? Are you repeating the same question twice? Why, why are you asking the same question twice? If I answer you just less than 24 hours ago, about the same stupid question, and it was an embarrassment for you, because now you will say to me, why God he do this? Why he don't do that? 
why he don't do go give command uh, why your God Allah did not give command and make Adam happy and he used his hands why your God Allah did not give command and control everything he took him six days actually Muhammad he says seven days to create the earth not by command he went down from his throne Muslims are a bunch of fools they don't know what they are saying they, he, you are exposing your religion now but you just confirmed that Jesus he can do what nobody can do he cured the blind how he cured the blind? He cured him the same way he created the blind. How God he created Adam? By using mud. Jesus made mud, put it in the eye of the blind, and from mud you are created. By mud I fix you. This is how God he created Adam. In the same time, your God, he could not fix the artery of your prophet. He will go as destroyed by poison. Why Allah could not fix it? By making a command. And as you say, Jesus, he command the wind. What do you want Jesus to use his hand to stop the wind, you idiot? <laughs> stop! <laughs> it's a wind. <laughs> uh, you know, Nagla Seed, I think you don't talk. You break wind only. And he will repeat the same question tomorrow. Idiots. The, the follower of the Negla seed. All of what you are worried about, how Jesus control? How come? You can ask yourself the same question. How come? How come? Potatoes. How come your God, Allah, could not bring anyone from death? Show me, prove it to me. All what you have saying, what Jesus did. This is what Jesus did. You are, you are a thief. You say Jesus resurrected people from death, this is by the leave of Allah. Well, anyway, somebody can say by the leave of uh, Billy Clinton. Talk is cheap. You're a prophet, have zero miracle, and the Quran confirm it. Be my witness. How long now we are here? Zero Muhammadan dare to call. Zero Muhammadan dare uh, you are again stupid if you take dr bart rahman then you take what he says he said that jesus was a crucified that's mean your prophet is a false and he is a fraud you are using the one who can beat your prophet to death muslims are fooled we ask an atheist, ask an atheist to fight Christianity. This is how satanic they are. If we go and see what this guy he said, here we go. I have in my do you see do you, do you notice why why we have those in the in the intro? Because Muslim they make mockery of their God when they bring someone like this guy to insult Christianity. And what he did, he gave finger to your God and to Muhammad. Big finger. Look what he said. You name it. You choose it. I have to show it to you. Good luck with that. So look what he said here. He said he believed that Jesus, he was a crucified. So Muhammad is a liar. He was buried. He was really dead. And he said even that he think that he is a Christ, which means he is not Christ. So Muhammad is a liar again. He is a liar about him being Christ. He is lying about him not being die, die, dead. He is lying about his crucifixion. And you are asking me to, to, to check what this guy says? Here we go, I'll check, go ahead. Contradiction. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. Yeah, like, Book like, is like without Muhammad. contradictions. That like Latin at Muhammad is halal fun. I think that's what he meant. That's what we are doing here. So listen what this guy, the one you choose him to witness for what happened to Jesus, what he's saying. And now you cannot deny, 
You have to accept what he's saying. Standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah. Did you hear it? So he thought he is going to be the Messiah. He, he thought and he believed that he is a son of God. That means all your Muslim claim about Jesus, the Bible changed by the Christian is a lie. He confirmed that the one who believed in that, it was Jesus. Now this guy, he means nothing for me. He is just a stupid idiot like your prophet. But when you Muslim, you say, I'm going to ask him, that means you accept him to be a scholar for you. And now the finger is in the bum of your prophet. <clears throat> who is next? You notice that Muslims, I never saw a Muslim, he have a high IQ. They lie too much. And this is a proof that they are not people of IQ. Because the more you lie, the more you expose yourself. You might lie and your lie will survive for some time. But time will come and somebody will get you busted. With the proofs and reference. So when this guy who is anti-Christianity, he himself, he confirmed that yes, Jesus, he believed he's son of God. Yes, he was crucified. Yes, he, well, he died. Not only that, in different interview, he says, yes, that the disciple, they saw someone coming to them as Jesus. He admit, and this is an interview with, the, with David Wood. Go watch it. And here you ask yourself, how this guy, he denied that the Messiah is a divine, and then he agreed that, yes, that the, the disciple of Jesus, they saw Jesus coming to them after death. So he agreed he died, he agreed that he was buried, and then he agreed that the disciple of Jesus, and nobody, he said, he cannot, no cannot deny. We cannot deny that obviously the disciple, they saw Jesus after, was uh, crucified. He appeared to them. And the video is still in the channel of David. We would go and watch it. But this is telling you that Islam is a satanic religion because they seek aid even from those who they are antichrist just to fight Christianity. They hate Jesus. Islam is an antichrist cult. It's not the antichrist. It is an antichrist cult. The Bible says, who is the antichrist? It is the one who denied that Jesus is the son and the, or the father, right? So, you know, if a, if a priest, if you go to a church, and a priest, you ask him about Islam, he starts saying to you, they are Abrahamic, and even this garbage, you know? You know, this guy is not a priest, he is a diarrhea, he's a piece of shit, excuse my language. The Bible makes it so clear, anyone bring, other than the scriptures, anyone, let him be cursed. The Bible makes it so clear that there's anyone who deny that Jesus, the son of the father, he is antichrist. So when a priest, he starts saying to you, they are Abrahamic, and we believe in the same God, and all this diarrhea. You know, this guy is a coward, is a liar, is a fraud. Other thing you hear in churches, which is wrong, that the Muslims are from Ishmael, which is very silly, very stupid. Most of the Muslims, first, are not even Arab. Secondly, I am an Arab, and Arab are not an ethnic. Only donkeys things that Arab are an ethnic, they are like a nation, people, no, they are not. That's why you see somebody is an Arab, he is very white, so the other one is not very white. Why? Because we have different look, because we have different origin. Arab is a word for those who live in the desert, it's coming from the Aramaic language. So when the Bible or any book says Arabia, this is desert. Arabia means desert. It's not even a name of a location which means, based on this language, Las Vegas is Arabia. Aram, or Aramaic, is people who live in the top of the hills, in the language of the Aramaic. So based on where you live, they call you, not who you are. But you know, we live in the, in the world of ignorance, and you see every priest and every church says, Ishmael, they are from Ishmael, they are from Ishmael. And then a guy he caught for you says, 
oh, the, the Bible says they will be like wild, their, their hand over everybody. But it's not about them. Ishmael is a son of Abraham, uh, Abraham. His mother is Egyptian. He married from Egyptian. How in the world his children are the people of Arabia? Uh, yeah, actually, I have my book in Portuguese, uh, but I, I think I did not publish it yet. And you know, actually, I have I have a, a, my my book translated already to uh, Tagalog. Uh, I keep forgetting to publish it. Soon I will post a link. This is for you for free. You know, all countries who have they are poor. You know, we don't want them to. Uh, now, for sure, there's a lot of very rich Filipinos, you know, the same as in Indonesia. Like those countries, they have people who they are very rich, and there's people who they are very poor. But for us, we care for the poor first, because we care for a nation. The rich are the few. So we will publish the Tagalog book, maybe in, in a day or two. I will post the link for you guys in the Patreon, so you can download it for free. Uh, yeah, my book in Spanish is in Amazon. I I guess it's in Amazon still because Amazon is trying to fight me supposedly. You see, the Muslims they complain about my books to Amazon, and uh, uh, for me, uh, all I need to do is just one call, and I will put the book again if I, if I, if they do that. Uh, but I say to the Muslims. You better not to play with me, because I can post them for free, and then that will hurt more. And the Lord will support me. You see, it, the books has given me uh, some income, and they were all of us who need income, right? I mean, who is going to pay for my gas? Who is going to pay for my? But if you play with me, Muslims, I'm warning you. I will. I'm willing to give all my books for free. Already ninety, maybe ninety-five percent of them already for free. So don't push it. You will be sorry. <laughs> Did you hear about Sister Hatun? I didn't hear about anything. Don't tell me about her, please. I don't want drama. <clears throat> you see, uh, when you go in a mission, you know you, you need to learn how to do your mission, otherwise you quit. And there are some people, they are stubborn. I believe that the Christian woman should not be in the street speaking to men. I believe this is against even Jesus' teaching. Women, they should be teaching women. Especially when we are debating Muslims, who they are not used to talk and respect women. So, uh, do what we what is right, and be with the right. A Christian woman, she can debate Muslims online. Even if they are men. Don't go in the street. No need. See, all days, we have to go in the street. We have to go. Like now, I am sitting in my home, wearing my short, and I have 1,000 people listening. Why do I want to go in the street? If I go right now in the corner of a place, how many people listen to me? Two, three, four people are going to work. I mean, they might stop for a second. I have 1,000 people. I did not organize it. I did not prepare it. I just said, okay, I'm going to go in the morning, sometime even a half hour before I go live. So we need to be smart. This is what the Bible teaches us. We need to be vigilant. We need to be decent. We need to be smart. So either do smart things or don't do. Uh, when the men are weak, Women, they have to step up. That is a false argument. <clears throat> because still you step up, you're still, stay, you're still a woman. That will not make you a man. And you can do it in the right way where you preserve your dignity, preserve, you know, uh, yourself. Uh, making yourself vulnerable for the filthy is not a smart thing. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us?
Do you hate Palestine? Why I will hate Palestine? Palestine is the land of the Jews. Why I will hate it? The Quran says this is the land of the Jews. Allah assigned it for the Jews. I love. I love it. This is one of my favorite verses in the Quran. Muhammad, he was a Zionist at that time, trying to be a Zionist to the Jews. So he told him, Allah gave you the land. He assigned it for you. And you will notice that the word holy never mentioned about the Kaaba. Never mentioned about Mecca. The word Muqaddas is mentioned twice in the Quran. Once when Moses, he met with the Lord in the Mount of Sinai, and once when the Quran says, O oh my people, enter the Holy Land which Allah assigned to you. So my friend, this is the land of the Jews, and the Jews have it. And you notice that the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine. Never. But you will find it in the Bible. So Muhammad, obviously, he was, a, he, he was a trying his best to be a Zionist, but he was rejected by the Zionists themselves. I remember once I was doing a seminar in the Philippines, and Abdul, he stood up, he says, so what do you think about the Jews? They take the land of the Palestinians. Why you support that? Is that fair? Is that what Jesus taught you? Uh, and he sat down. I said, uh, stand up, stand up, you know. Uh, keep the microphone in your hand. Can you read for me chapter 5, verse number 20, 21? The guy, he opened his uh, Quran, and he started, okay, chapter Quran 5. They don't even know. I said to him, chapter 5, verse number 20, 21, he started reading from, you know, because they're, the, the, the numbers they have in their Quran is wrong. So he started reading. He said, well, your God, do you see what it says here? It says, this is the land of the Jews. Are you against Allah? Do you, do you think Allah, he hate the Muslims? You should see him. He looked like a fool. He looked exactly like Abdul. <clears throat> Any Abdul? This is why they didn't dare to debate me, because we got them busted from their books. You see, they claim about a human right, but you will say, they will find that uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in the Israeli jail, they have a TV, they have medicine, they have uh, nice food, uh, their family can visit them once a week. Go to the Middle East. Go to Muslim countries. You go inside the jail, you disappear. You totally disappear. In order to see your, your, if you have somebody from your family in jail, you have to bribe the officers to find him. Where is the guy? Where we can find the guy? When, when somebody spoke against the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, what they did to him? In Turkey. They got him inside the embassy. They fooled him. They told him, you need to come so you can do your marriage papers. And when he got in, they made him shish kebab, literally. And they talk about the Jews. Go and see the human right in Islamic countries. A human is not a human in Islamic countries. My friend in America, dogs have more rights than Muslims in their countries. No Muslim dare to say how in his country. Who dare to speak against his king or his president? He would disappear, him and his family. I make fun of Joe Biden every day. And they cry, you know, you know, Palestine, you know, Israeli, you know, you are, you are the enemy of yourself. If you could not, if you could not bring your own citizen respect, what kind of a creature you are? Women disappear, children disappear, family disappear. I mean, the whole tribe can disappear. Liars. I assure you that every single Muslim he wished to be Israeli citizen. Go and see. Okay, why, why the one who live in Israel, they accept to have Israeli passport? Why? Don't accept it. 
they will never give it up. <laughs> because if they don't have Israeli passport, they will not have the privilege, the, the nice life. They have a nice salary. They have nice jobs. They have equal rights. Can you give equal rights to the Jews in your country? You, you yourself, you have no rights. Liar again is life. Ah, well, liar again is life and your prophet is dead. What you can do about it, Firdos? And look at this. This guy, his name is Firdos. Do you know what, where is the Firdos coming from? Just to show you that Muhammad is a fraud. Firdos. I challenged a Muslim to tell me what Firdos means. Is it an Arabic word? <laughs> Firdos. Firdos. The funny is the Quran claimed that this is a pure Arabic book. And then we start reading, we find that all the Quran have nothing to do with Arabic. Jannah is not Arabic. Firdos is not Arabic. Hell is not Arab. I mean, everything, the Jahannam. Jahannam. Where is the word Jahannam coming from? <laughs> Iblis. <laughs> Jibreel, Abraham, Isa, Mikhail. What, what the heck? Why the God, his favorite language is Arabic, but all his angels, their name is not an Arabic, brother? Isn't this is weird? Okay, listen, listen. Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in Arabic and the Shahada in his chair. And then he called the angels with foreign names. What the heck is that? Who is a Muslim can tell me what Jibreel mean? Jibreel, Jibreel. They don't know. Because they stole it from the Christians and the Jews. Mikhail, Israfil, Israel. They don't know. Thieves. Fraud. Counterfeit. It's not even made in China because in China they make a good product. Let me drink. And now, Mr. Fardos, why you don't call me, my friend? And as long as I'm a liar, why you don't get me busted? I mean, who is holding you? Listen, I will tell you a story. This is a true story. Yesterday, I decided to do jihad. Are you a member of the KKK? Uh, that's a good thing. This is a good question. That's a very good question. Are you a member of the KKK? Well, the only KKK we know in Arabia is Islam. Isn't it Islam is a religion of the white people? Isn't it the Quran says Allah will make all believers white and all unbelievers black? <laughs> this is the religion? <laughs> Who is the KKK? Is it true that your prophet he says that shaitan is a black man? Is it true that your prophet, he says, the most person Allah he hates is a black man? Call me, I will show you the reference. Al-Islam Abdullah. Okay, hello? Hello, uh, my, uh, one of the guys uh, wants to ring you. His name is Ali Hussein. Yeah, this guy is the same uh, potato. He keeps saying to me, "Nothing. this is not important. <laughs> You forgot who is he? This is the same guy who keeps saying to me, the important is whether to go to hell or to heaven. This is not important. Each time I no, show no, him something. No, no, not that guy. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I don't think you did talk to him yet. No, I think I did. Let me see. I, I will check his name. Uh, okay, let's see this guy. I think he's the same guy. Hello. Yes, my friend. Did you speak to me before, Mr. Ali? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Okay. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Sorry? What did you want to say to us? Why do you want to call? Um, I just wanted to explain the Trinity to me, if that's okay. Um, you are worried about the Trinity? 
Yeah, I'm not worried, but I just want an well, explanation. The truth is that. that there is a guy, his name is Muhammad. And if there is no Muhammad, there is no Jibreel, there is no Allah, there is no Islam. Is that correct? No, no, I'm asking about Trinity. You're talking about Islam. Well, this is Islam. This is Trinity in Islam. Is it true that if there is no Jibreel, there is no Muhammad, there is no Allah, there is no Islam? So that means you believe in Islam? I laugh at Islam, as you see. Okay, but why do you tell me from the Christian point of view? Because here we are talking about Islam and you are trying to change our topic because you are afraid that we will speak about no, your no, stupidity. No, no, but look, if you are saying that my religion is wrong, prove to me yours is right. Okay, if you agree with me that your religion is wrong, then we will switch the topic. Say that Muhammad is a, far, a, far, a false prophet. I will, I will go no, and speak look, that, about the No, but that's not fair, is it? You need to tell me about the Trinity and stuff. It's not up to you. I have a topic. And this is not the customer service. You call me to change your phone plan. So why you don't tell me about your religion? And uh, I will, in return, you know, I will tell you about Trinity. What about that? No, no, but I wanted to know about Trinity. Last time you did this, and you didn't tell me about Trinity. No, I told you, uh, and I will repeat again. The Trinity is God. God is three person. If God cannot be three, then he cannot be one. Ah, the so, Trinity, that's it. So, so you worship three gods? No, God, I said God. He can be three person. I said that he three God. I said three person. If he cannot be three and one in the same time, then he cannot be God. Because God is called God because he's almighty. And almighty, he can be whatever he wish. Yeah. Are you going no, to tell no, me? I, are you going to tell God what he liked? What what, what should no, be? No, I I agree with what you're saying, but Jesus worshipped God. Uh, Jesus, he speaks to the Father. This is what the Trinity is. He is the Son. The Father is the authority. He was sent by the Father. He said, "My Father sent me. My Father so, gave me the authority." So Jesus is born of the Father. That's why he called him the Father for his authority. Now I'm asking you now. When Muhammad, uh, when Muhammad, he have a God. <laughs> Listen, I answer you about the Trinity. You don't do like it. It's up to you. You know, God, he can be as he wish, and he is so what he wish. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. You Muslims are. Do you believe you, Christianity you, you, is you the Muslims, You Muslims are hypocrites. When you want to say God, he is capable of everything. When you want, he is not. Can God be three and one in the same time? I'm asking you. Can he be? Um, yeah, I mean, he can. Yeah. Okay. So what the problem then? But but it just doesn't make sense that he's worshiping you, you see yeah, this is very silly you're saying that it doesn't make sense but he can so how what, how no, can no no but he he wouldn't worship himself for like no he's not worshiping himself because he's a different person but, uh, the the son is a person the father is a person the holy spirit is a person is not of saying himself in the same time as long as you are saying this isn't it allah he says allah and his angels they pray on the prophet so, sorry, can you say that again? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah and His angels they pray at the Prophet? Uh, yeah. Okay, so how well, Allah, sent, Allah sent he prayed to whom? You see the son, he speak to the father. They, they, Allah he prayed to whom? They sent, they sent blessings to him. Well, that will not make any sense. You are the one who speak about sense. If Allah he pray on Muhammad, that is not the word blessing because in Arabic the word praying is a praying. Word the blessing is barakah. Do you know, <laughs> do you know Arabic? Uh, no, not really. Okay, but you know, I'm sure you know that the word salah mean I mean praying, right? Yeah. Okay, so how in the world you Muslim you switch the word salah to be prayer, to be a blessing? It says in Arabic salah. Every yeah. day, every one of you says, let us do salah, let us do salah, let us do salah. And now we ask you, what salah mean? You say blessing. Well, what, what do you believe about Islam that's incorrect? This is not to you, it's not up to you. The word in the front of me, you Muslims are corrupting your Quran. If the Quran says salah, you how you change the word salah to me blessing. You agree with me that the word salah means prayer, correct? Yeah, but okay. it's a bit what a bit. Uh, it's Here a bit. it says you saluna al Nabi, you saloon, it is a verb, continue verb. Allah and his angels are praying on the Prophet. And Mimi Hijabi agree, he says this is why it says pray for, not two, but doesn't make any difference. Still they are praying. Pray four or two, it's the same. Still Allah, he pray, Allah pray to who? So in the case of Jesus, he is speaking to the Father. Allah now is praying to who? Yeah. Yeah, what? I need to look into that. Uh, you are looking now. No, no, I'm not looking now, but I'm My friend, you are an excited it. person. Suddenly you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have a flat tire now. Yeah, but yeah. How God, he pray. God, he pray to who? In the, in the, in the Trinity, the Son, he speak to the Father. The Father speak to the Son. Very, you know, a different person. It's not the same person. So here we have only one Allah. Allah, he pray to who? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I've read it and it says blessings. Huh? 
I'm sure he says send blessings to Prophet Muhammad. Uh, you know, it says a prayer. I, I, if I will go with you. How Allah and his angels, they are sending blessing. That means Muslims are mushrikeen. Because if a blessing is what salat mean, and the angels can do the same as Allah, that means Allah and the angels, they share the same power. Both of them, they can give a blessing. Can the angels bless, send the blessing or only God? Um, I mean, the angels can probably request for it. Can be what? They can probably ask for a blessing, but I don't think they can. It doesn't say that. that. Why, why are you Muslims adding things? It says, Allahu, Allah and his angels, Allah and his angels. See, even the Muslim translation is a fraud. It says, Allahu wa malaikatahu. Look what it says. Allah send his salat, grace, honor, blessing, mercy on Muhammad. Okay. And also his angels. Here they ask, they ask Allah, where it says that? They added things that's not there. You change the translator, you will see all of this disappear. That's why you yeah. cannot, cannot trust the Quran. The Quran is a fraud. It cannot be from God. You know, uh, uh, for only Allah, if He is God, is the, mm -hmm. if He is the only true God, only Allah can send the blessing, if the word blessing. But as you see, cannot be. Because that means that the, uh, the, the angels, they can send the blessing too. And that will be uh, shirk. Because now the angels and Allah, both they have the same position. They can give a blessing. Look, we just changed the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Allah and his angels send the blessing on the Prophet. So the angels are not asking for blessing. Why the Muslim they add between two brackets and asking blessing? This is a fraud. Right. So what do you think? Now you agree with me this is a fraud. So what we will do now? I mean, I, I, I can't say it's a fraud. I need to like look at it. You said it's right. You said right. I said a fraud. You said right. Everybody heard you. Sorry? I said a fraud. I said this is a fraud. You said right. No, no, I didn't. I didn't say right. I no, said you I said right. You said it. right. No, you said right. <laughs> I said I need to look into it. No, you said right. It's recorded. <clears throat> yeah, cough, cough. Yeah. So look what happened now. We have a God who claimed to be God. Let me ask you: When Jesus in the Bible he says, "Go and your sin is forgiven," the Quran says, yeah. "Who forgives sin except Allah?" Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Can Allah really forgive sin? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So how Allah, who he say, who can forgive sin except Allah? And then himself, he says, may Allah forgive your sin in the past and in the future to come. Allah is praying to who? No, man. That, I, don't, I don't know what context that's taken. Chapter off. 48, verse number two. I'll just check you out. Hmm. Allah asking, may Allah forgive your sin. Allah speaking to who? Yeah, but it's not, it doesn't have to come from God. It could be the person who wrote this. Don't tell me could, don't tell you see that. Are you, going, are, are you, are we making now, uh, is that a lotto? Is that a game? No, no. Because it says, I'm, may I'm Allah, saying... it says, may Allah forgive your sin. If you don't like the translation, we can change any translation you like to, you choose for me. The translation mm. like may Allah forgive your sin if Allah is God Allah speaking to who Allah making a wish to this is a wish that Allah may forgive your sin but it's, it's, got, it's, it's got the same meaning it says may Allah forgive your sin so yeah, the one is talking the is Allah meaning. you see the one is talking is Allah if this is like, if the guy is talking is Abu Bakr I would say Abu Bakr saying to Muhammad may Allah forgive you that's what I'm fine but here is God himself talking supposedly. So when, I, when this God, he says, may Allah forgive your sin. Who, is, who are you? No, but it's the same meaning though. It's still saying, may Allah forgive what the your same sin. Meaning? So no, it's not the same meaning. It's a wish. It's a prayer. There's somebody here making a prayer saying, may Allah forgive your sin. <clears throat> this is a prayer. This is a dua. Yeah. Yeah. Now you say, you said, yeah, I said to you, you said, yeah. And then you say, no, I did not say, yeah. I will say, I say it, I will look at it. No, no, I, I, un I understand what you're saying. But yeah, the thing is, so does it say like, that Allah, I understand it myself. Okay, does it Allah, does it Allah saying, may Allah forgive your sin? So if Allah is the one who forgives sin, he will say what Jesus said, go on, your sin is forgiven. Go I mean, on, your you sin is forgiven. Here, he's making I mean, a wish. Here. No, no, but, it, but we still know the meaning is saying that may 
like how do you know the meaning? The meaning is what in the front of you. You see, what, you see the hypocrisy. I mean, but we know the meaning. It's in the front of you. It says, "May Allah." <laughs> we know the meaning. What is the meaning? Tell me. Go ahead. I mean, it still it still explains the same thing. Like, may well, explain the same thing. Give me the meaning. Okay, it says, "May Allah no, forgive you." Not, Tell not, me the conclusion. Go ahead. No, he's saying, may Allah forgive your sins. So he's still referring to God, that he's the one. Who is talking? The, the one is talking is Allah. If, if Muhammad is talking, I would say, okay, Muhammad asking his God to forgive his sin. Muhammad making prayer. But even, even though that will not make any sense. Why? Because it says, may Allah forgive thee. So Muhammad cannot be talking about himself. There's somebody saying that. Who is the one saying that? The Quran is the word of Allah. Is it correct? Correct? Yeah. Who is talking here is Allah, correct? Uh, yeah. How Allah, he said, may Allah forgive your sin? I don't know, I mean... There we go, I don't know. If, so if I, if time I we put a Muslim it, in the I, corner, I he said, I don't know. No, no, I mean, if I read it, I, I know that it says, may My Allah My friend, I'm asking sins. you, how, you are the one who, who made the topic. Jesus is speaking, to praying to the Father. Here, is Allah have a Father? No. Okay, so Allah asking, making a wish. May Allah forgive your sin. Who is the first Allah? Who is the second Allah? May Allah forgive. No, you're just confusing it all. Okay, it I'm confused. Says... You are not. You are a Muslim. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't eat pork. That make you not confused. So now, tell me. As long <laughs> what, you are not confused, you who is the one? Who is Do you the eat one? Pork? Do you who, eat pork? Who is one? Your prophet eat pork. You want to show a reference? No. <laughs> Do you eat pork? Yeah, I eat pork. But I'm sure G in the Bible is forbidden. Yeah, forbidden for the Jews. And the Quran agrees. No, it's forbidden for no, every, no. the Bible. Ah, Bible is this, is the Quran, this is the Quran saying that even that is not forbidden for the Jews because Allah, He did not even ask Israel, the children of Israel, to forbid anything from them. Israel only He forbid things. This is no, what? I mean, it's, it's still forbidden. It's in the Bible. No, That's your no this is in the Quran. Here we go. Kullu ta'am, all the food was lawful for children of Israel. Except what Israel made unlawful for himself. So it's not God told him not to be to eat this and that. According to the Islam, everything is lawful. Israel decided not to eat some food. That's it. The verse in front of you. Chapter 3, verse number 93. And this is false, by the way. Why is it false? Because Israel is not the one who decides what the Jews eat or not. <laughs> Let's go back to the topic. So Allah, he pray to who? Uh, he doesn't pray to anyone. So how Allah, he says, may Allah forgive your sin? But he doesn't indicate that God is praying to himself. Or no, to he is. Else. Because simply when you say that Allah, obviously you are not Allah. Because when you say that Allah, if I am Allah, I will not say that Allah. I mean, come on, this is stupid. Your name is Ali. And then you say, I will, I will ask Ali to talk to you. You are Ali. No, but sometimes some of the verses in the Quran, it talks as if it's a... No like, problem, you know, but like, here is about, about a decision. So may Allah, a person making a wish for a different person, his name is Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. Who is talking? Allah. Allah making wish to Allah. Is your God Allah speaking in front of him in the mirror like he have a, some disease where a person he think he is two people? No, it's not exactly that. Don't, uh, not exactly, <clears throat> but close. So Allah is different two people, yeah. Not exactly, but close. So Allah, he think he is two people, but he is one person. But he speaks but himself. I mean, did you watch, I mean, the, Quran did, did you watch, did you watch like... the movie? Did you watch the movie? The one is called The Perfect Host? No, I haven't seen that. Well, The Perfect Host is a person, he think he is many people. So he sent letters to himself from his girlfriend. So once he think he is the girlfriend. He write a letter to himself that he miss him and he is in love and cannot wait to kiss kiss the person and sleep with him so he write a letter he put it in the mailbox he received a letter by mail to himself written by himself then this guy he invite people to join him in the dinner friends but nobody is there only him he serve food he serve dishes he serve wine and then he start having sex with the visitors one by one but nobody is there only him so this is your god nobody is there but he thinks there's, there's another Allah. He write a letter to himself. He opened the letter, read it for himself, saying that it's not him who wrote it, but he wrote it, talking to himself by himself and making a wish to himself from himself. This is what we see in front of us. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, you do not know. Yeah, I like, do not know. Uh, I know it's definitely not wrong. It's just I need to get the right My friend, explanation. My friend, you saying I advise you to eat pork. Uh, <laughs> yeah, David, what? David, he obviously he used to eat pork. Because he you had sex with to, 90, you 90, me to eat he, pork. Yeah, because David. Why he, would I eat that? I because eat Solomon, sorry, because Solomon, he had sex with 99 wives. Isn't mm -hmm. sex very important for Muslims? This is the origin of sex. Have you ever heard of somebody can have sex with 99 women? No, but let me explain. You know, even in the Hindu books as well, they've I'm not like, asking, don't talk about the Hindus now. Listen, no, no, but I'm, talking about, I'm talking wives, about reality. Is, there, is it possible that a man like you and me? He can have sex with 99 women in one night. I mean, I don't know. I can't comment on it. What do you mean? Eat pork? Eat pork can't, and you will find out. Eat pork and you'll find out. Each time I say something to you, you say, no, eat pork, go. That's why I said to you, you need to eat pork. Obviously, he was eating pork. Otherwise, how he can have 99 wives, man? Me, myself, I can't even have like 90, 97. Don't call me, don't call me. I don't want to speak to somebody who keeps saying to me, I do not know. That's not a conversation. That is a kid, kid, you know, kid's talk. Don't call me. They will not for me to block you. You can call me different day. I'm done with you today. I don't know is not an answer. It's an embarrassment. A Muslim, he prayed to God, he do not know. Each time, they will do Trinity, and the second you start question and explain, you get them busted. They didn't know. So, you are confused about the Trinity, but you are confused about the stupidity of your book? Trinity is very simple. God is three. He, 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 he decides, I'm three. That's it. God is not a phone you can buy and do shopping. I want a six-inch screen or five-inch screen. God is God. Either you accept him the way he is, or you don't. And there's nothing makes sense. Does it make sense that Jesus have no father? How do you believe in that? He's born. How a person is born, he have no father. Even this is against the stupid Quran. Muhammad, he made contradiction. The Quran says, And we made it by lineage, by sexual marriage. Every human being. Muhammad, he forgot that Jesus is exception. Because he is the one who accepts that story in the Quran too. And this is the same verse which describes that you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why? Because Islam approves only relationship from marriage. So if you have a daughter out of marriage, you can have sex with her and the mother at the same time. Very filthy cult. I advise you, Ali, to call a sheikh and you are welcome with your sheikh to join us in the conversation. Huh. Guys, look what he sent me. This is Ali. Truly, truly, you are a decent Mohammedan. This is Ali Al Ali Hussein. See what happened when you made them shish kebab? Filthy. But I'm not offended. I'm speaking to the devil. What do you expect from the devil? Filthy mouth. Son of Muta. People who follow Muta, they are talking about dignity and honor. Do we have any Muslim he can give us an answer beside I don't know? <laughs> I'm mad, I don't know. What an easy answer, I don't know. Anything is embarrassment, they say I don't know. And this is the way to escape. I don't know. He don't know, that's it. What you can do about it. Yeah. This is why Jesus says, it's not what go inside your mouth, make you dirty, it's what come from your mouth. And that is Islam. Islam is dirty in and out. This guy himself, he wanna go and pray to Allah just because he will make him have a lot of sujudas. The one he's talking about. 
It is a religion of penis. Their god is a penis. They worship penis and they pray for a penis. For all the target of Islam, all the purpose of Islam is penis. Prove me wrong. I never heard of a god who wanted me to believe in him. And if I believe in him, he will give me women with big boobs. What if I like small one? Can we change the size? Do they come in three sizes? How big? How big? And brother, Allah will give you full cup. Do you like full cup? Huh? Full cup, brother, full cup. What the heck is that? He don't even mention the word women. You see, in Arabic, in English, it says women. It says just big boobs. Big boobs and they are firm. Boing, boing, boing. This is God. This is a very sexual cult. All of it is about penises, boobs, asses. Your wife, her ass will be one mile. What, what I want to do with one mile ass? May Allah ask you. What if she fart? Do you know that fart is uh, flammable? What if somebody walking behind her when she fart and he's smoking? How big her poopoo? If her ass is one mile. But you know, the prophet, he is so truthful. He knows things nobody knows. As an example, this guy who called me, according to Muhammad, shaitan, he take care of him his anus five times a day. And he will not stop until he causes him to fart. I want Muslim to record by uh, slow motion cameras, high quality. The process, prove it that shaitan really take care of him. Because you see, we can't see shaitan, but we can see the hair coming out. We cannot see shaitan, right? But we can see the hair. Hair is a physical object. So the hadith says, let me, let me get the hadith. The book of Faidul al-Qadir, Sharh al-Jami'i al-Saghir, al-Manawi, volume number two, page number 446. It says here, Prophet Hadith number, and by the way, this is Isnadahu Hassan. Hassan, it is Hassan. The Prophet said, let me translate to English. But let's first read in Arabic and then translate. Inna shaytana la yati ahadakum wa huwa fi salatihi fa ya'khudhu bisharatin min dibrihi fa yamudduha fa yara. Mean that the one who see, who is praying, he think that he did fart. Translate. And then they, trans they tell you how the smell will be. I mean, details, in details, brother. In details. Translate to English. Hmm. From the authority, from blah, blah, blah. And it is correct hadith. It is what? It is correct. Hmm. Okay. It says here. Verily, shaitan comes to one of you while he is in a prayer, and he take a hair from his back, buttocks, not backbone, translation is coming, from your anus, and he stretch the hair out until he see, or the believer see, that he is passing wind from his anus. Do you see it? This is Islam. So those we will speak to, there are people who believe that there's somebody playing with their anus every day. So you are talking about surgeries. Shaitan, he puts surgeries in your anus every day. Every day. Let me give the reference. Post the link. So people can, it's in Arabic, but you can use Google Translation. Uh, we need to shorten it first. Okay. I hope the link is working. Let me know if it doesn't work. 
And by the way, those things make me happy to know that Muslims, they are, I mean, somebody doing something to them, at least. Yesterday, we played a video of a Shia Imam. He says, every Muslim Sunni is a homosexual. Why? Because Shaitan, he play his finger in their anus. He is not really too far from what Muhammad said. Muhammad said, Shaitan, he play with their anus every day, five times a day. And that explains why the mosque smells so bad. Hmm. Why you don't talk about Ezekiel discussing, discuss, discussing, discussing corruption? Uh, my friend, you see here that the, 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 the thing is that Muslims, they don't read from their mouth or from their eyes. They read from their anus. If read the same verse, it prove that the Bible can't be corrupted. Because this verse is speaking about the nations who they are following the false God. So the Bible is written by decent men who they are exposing their own nation. And this is not about the women, but you are filthy. However, I can go right now, if this is what you think, in Ezekiel, I can go right now show you the fatwa and the hadith that a Muslim woman, she can use a grumbage and she can have, she can cut a penis of a, of, of a donkey. You want me to show you? Let me show you. And I challenge you to say this is not true. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so, in the book of Ezekiel, describing two cities, not two women, talking about, you know, not those about the nation. The nation became corrupt. They are marrying from people who they are like horses or they don't believe in God. They live like animals. Here, this is your prophet. Describing having sex with the with the, with the something have four legs, four legs, and this is the translation. And you don't like translation, you can use Google translation too. Here it says, read carefully. In our opinion, uh, if the penal head of the penis had penetrated a woman anus, or a man anus, or an animal vagina or it is anus, then it is necessarily to wash. The Muslims are now all worried about washing their penis and their vagina, not about having sex with the animal. Do you see it? Whether it's been treated by dead, alive or dead, young or old, life or dead, young or old, and not only that. Here we go, let's go, because it's very dirty. I don't want to speak too much about it. If a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash. Are you there, Abdul? So the verses on Ezekiel, this is not even about women. And this is self, let us say, uh, uh, criticism. A prophet of God is speaking against the Jewish practice. This is not about a woman. Here we have a real woman, Muslim women, detaching an animal penis and they are using it and they are teaching them you have to wash. This is what they are worried about. <laughs> detached penis. And if she insert a detached penis, Zakaran Maktuan, a uh, severed male member, material aid perhaps. There is two opinion. The most accurate, she must wash. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what a potato. You see, the Bible, if a book of corruption, then the Jews they will take those stories because those, those stories are insulting to the Jews. It's an insult to them because he is exposing their behavior. 
He exposing his people. So why they will keep it there? This is telling you that this is cannot be corrupted book. If I am in charge of a newspaper and there's an article speaking against me, I would delete it. Is that correct, guys? The Bible speaks about the sin of David in a very horrible way. How he killed the man so he can take his wife. But listen, this is a family of kings. The children, they can't take any story against their father down. Never. Do you know this? Imagine I am a king, and in my lifetime, they are writing my crime and teaching the Jews about it. And then my kids come after me, and the kids are my kids, and they don't take it down. The story about their father is there, about his sin, about his crime. How this book can be corrupted then? Not to forget to mention that your stupid prophet, he took an oath in it. So the book you are making fun Ezekiel, and the Torah, and the Gospel, Muhammad, he confirmed it. And he says, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ Believing in what they have with them, between their hands. Muslims, they are like somebody, he put his picture in the wall, and he practiced shooting, think that he is shooting Christians. They forgot that their prophet is a thief. And he did a lot of poo-poo. Do you see the answer? So if the Bible is corrupted, how your stupid book says, you know, confirming what is with them, not only the Torah, the Torah and the gospel. Do we have any Abdul beside the guy who called me and he claimed that he have sojages? But when we spoke to him, obviously he have none. Because if you have sojages, then speak to me as a man, you are acting like a kid. A filthy person, he have little piece of meat between his legs. He think he can threat us with it. Do we have any Muhammadan? Black stone kisser. Brother, and sisters, Islam is against Bacchanism. But we kiss a black stone, brother. Brother, why you kiss a black stone? Uh, the black stone, uh, we don't worship it. Okay, but why you kiss it? Uh, because it's holy. Okay, why it's holy? Because the prophet kiss it. Why the prophet kiss it? Uh, because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kiss it. What the heck? But remember, brother, we are not pagan people. We are not pagan. Do you remember the video I recorded here? Live on air, I was speaking to a Muslim chat, live on air. I asked them why. The prophet kissed the black stone. Took him three, four minutes to answer. He says, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? He took him another five minutes. Maybe he's asking somebody around. And he answered, because the prophet kissed it. I mean, this is how stupid this religion is. They accuse everybody. Okay, guys, the black stone was brought from paradise, brother. Are you sure it's not coming from eBay? So why you kiss it? So what if it's coming from paradise? It's a stone. Allah, he sent the donkey to Muhammad. What if the donkey is still there? Do you Muslims going to tie him up to the Kaaba and kiss his ass? He's coming from heaven too. Brother, the black stone came from paradise. It's a meteor stone. We have millions of them in the earth. And we have reference proving that those people, they are pagan worshiping stones before Islam. Nothing changed. Look what the Quran, what the Hadith says. They always look for meteor stone and they worship it. Read it. This is a Hadith, authentic Sahih al-Bukhari. We used to worship stones, and when we find a better stone from the first one, we switch. 
Do you see it? They look for stones in the desert. If a stone look weird, look in a different weight because they are, you know, they are coming from the space. They take them and they make them God. They are coming from the sky. And this is exactly what the Muslim worship. They worship a stone coming from the sky. Do we have any smart Muslim? You don't worship the stone. Okay, hold on. Guys, he said, ha 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 ha, we don't worship the stone. So why you kiss it? Why you kiss it? Why you die to touch it? Guys, he don't worship the stone. Why you kiss it and why you die to touch it? I'm waiting for the answer. Go ahead. Why you kiss it? Why you touch it? I can't wait to see the answer. I advise you to think twice before you post it. We don't worship the stone, but we kiss it and we touch it. Why? I'm waiting. You want to call a friend? Why your prophet kiss it? Clearly mention worship one of those creator, sky, and earth. They'll give me the answer. Why you are kissing it? See, now he tried to switch. He don't want to answer. Why you kiss it and why you touch it? Don't change the topic. Why you kiss it? Why you touch it? Why you die? Why you cry when you touch it? <laughs> Touching the, the black stone, you know? And it is in the shape of a vagina. Is it true that the stone is in the shape of a vagina? Is it true that the Arab before Islam, they used to put their hand, the woman she touched her vagina when she had her period? Women who cannot have babies, they have their period, they go and put their hand in their vagina, touching their blood, and then they place their hand inside the black stone? This is a vagina stone. And not only that, you're a prophet, he claimed that touching the black stone erased your sin. So don't tell me we are not pagan. People who believe that stones erase their sin are pagan. Let us see the hadith. Where is the hadith? Sign of affliction? Well, the, the mother is a real person and she is your, your mother. Is the stone your mother? Guys, look at the answers, guys. Look at this, look at this. Look at this pagan cult trying to give excuse to the pagan Muhammad. You kiss your mother. Is the stone is your mother? Is the stone your mother? I'm asking you why you kiss the stone. You say to me the Catholic, they kiss the statues. Anyone who do that is just doing a stupid thing. This is not from the Bible. You know that. So don't be stupid. And at least if those Catholics are kissing the statues, they are kissing the statues of somebody. If they do that, you are kissing a stone for what? Is it Muhammad? Is it Allah? So Muslims have no answer. And, the Quran, and Muhammad, he confirmed that touching the stone erased your sin. Uh, let us see where is the hadith. I'm trying to find it. Uh, where is the hadith? A stone erase your sin? <clears throat> I don't want to give you a headache in the screen. Let me switch the screen off.
So what the Muslims they say is a lie because Muhammad he made it clear that those stones really erase sin. Uh, let's see, here we go. We found the hadith. And this is not Daif. Abu Abdul Rahman said, I said to Abdul Rahman, why do you I only see you touching those two corners? There's two corners, the black stone and the Yemeni corner. He said, I heard Messenger of Allah saying, touching them erase sin. And I had him uh, say, whoever go around them seven times is like freeing a slave. Do you see it? So a Muslim, you do not need to free a slave. Why are you want to free a slave? Because the Arab, they used to do that. When they do something wrong, they believe in God, and then they free a slave. So may God forgive them. He knew that having a slave is wrong. So, okay, you know, I will forgive. Muhammad, he don't want them to do that no more. Go around the Kaaba seven times, touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner, bingo. Your sin is erased. Do you see it? So they lie when they say, it's like kissing your mother. This is not about kissing your mother. This is about erasing your sin. You are a liar. Not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that in the judgment day, the black stone is going to come and it's going to have eyes and mouth. Is going to come and have a tongue. And this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because Umar al-Khattab, he says, I know that you are useless. Doesn't hurt, doesn't benefit. Muhammad saying the opposite. Who's of them saying the truth? If it's useless, that means it does not forgive sin, does not erase sin, and is not going to witness in the day of judgment. Even his companion did not ap approve what he is saying. Omar, he said, I know that you are useless a stone, but because the prophet kissed you, I will kiss you. And by the way, just to show you the corruption of the religion, here it says Hassan. Here in Arabic, it says Sahih. <laughs> the great change, it is Sahih. Here it says Hassan. Here, Sahih. <laughs> the same hadith. <laughs> Pagan, pagan religion, pagan religion. And not only that, actually, when Muhammad, he says that this stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment, it's going to have a tongue and a mouth. And then we find that there's nothing left in the stone. There's no stone. Do you know that there's the, the stone is gone? What Muslims are kissing is wax. Where is the stone? Let us go. Let me show you pictures. You can go and search for the Blackstone maintenance in YouTube. It had to do maintenance. Imagine. Why? Because there's no stones. There's a small, tiny little rocks. And what maybe six or seven, and the, and, and the rest is wax. Just wax. Look at this. All this brown is wax. The black stone is gone. So how Allah is saying, how Muhammad is saying that this black stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment and nothing left of it. And the Muslim, they have to do maintenance. Look. The brown is wax. Little tiny in the size of your, you know, fingertip. Where is the black stone? sent by Allah 
So Allah, he sent the stone. He could not reserve the, the stone. It's gone. The whole vagina is gone. The only thing left is the clitoris. <laughs> Excuse my language. This is the clitoris. How we knew. Do you remember when Omar al-Khattab, he said in the hadith, Go and suck the clitoris of Allah. That is the clitoris. They made the shape of a vagina and they put a, a stones in the wax resembling the clitoris. We go in the hadith, we search, we find it. Imsus, Badr al -Lad. And look what filthy person he is. As a prophet, he says, go and bite the penis of your father. This guy, he says, go and suck the clitoris of a lad. Uh, look, this is in Arabic. Imsus, Badr al -Lad. Go and suck the clitoris of a lad. Do you see why their sheikh don't dare to debate me? We have all their laundry here, my friend. We have all the laundry. And this is the hadith, let me post it for you. I think the admin already is posting it. I don't know. Go and suck the clitoris of a lad? Who, why the Arab was, and who, what kind of advice of a, imagine if the disciple of Jesus saying that. What kind of manner those people they have? What a stupid cult. What a filthy cult. You know, Islam is like a camel who don't see the mountain in his back. And he's making fun of everybody back. This is exactly what Islam is about. The most stupid pagan cult. Yet they claim that they are the only one who have a true God. And the second you ask them about their true God, they don't know. They have no idea. <laughs> we don't know. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Do we have a good time? I hope so. Uh, remember, you can join us in Patreon. And please, in Patreon, don't send me emails, my friend. We say make a comment, make a comment. Doesn't mean you send me an email. When you send me a message in Patreon, that is an email. Don't. Don't. When you make a comment, if I find it worth answering, I will answer it in the live. If not, I will not. And uh, actually, before I finish, I just remember, hold on. A Muslim guy. He made a comment, video comment in the comment of the video, brother. He's saying Christian Prince is a liar. Let us, uh, we promise him to answer. Let us see, where is the comment? I hope I did not delete it. Where is the comment? Okay, here we go. I don't mean delete it in the comment section. I mean, in the, I took a screenshot. Because I don't want to look for it later. So look what this uh, Muhammad and he said. I will put it in the screen. Ibrahim, Lord God, he said, Did you take a trip to heaven to come to this conclusion? You see, we showed him reference. We showed him the stupidity. We showed him proofs. And they say conclusion. Hmm. Who can, you can believe a guy who ate 30 pigs? drink alcohol and never wash his butt when he poop prince you are a liar hey abdul you just remind me i decide to be clean and from now on i'm going to wash my butt in the same water your prophet he used to wash with where dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage is a throwing in it 
Do you believe a person who eat pork he never washes he must have washing your butt since when your prophet he used to use three rocks three rocks since when muhammad he wash and if he wash look how he wash this is your prophet a person who jump with dead dogs, garbage, even the translation saying stinky things are thrown in it. Little tiny body of water. This is not a spring of water. This is not a well of water. This is a dry old well. Nobody, remember, you are in this desert. Nobody throw garbage in a water if it is uh, water. This is garbage water. This is from the houses, the village of Mecca. The, they, they have like the women, they wash behind the door of the house and they have little tiny exit for the water to go out in the street and then keep running to the lowest point and this is where Muhammad is jumping dead dogs women of blood from period and Muhammad he claimed that water is always clean and regarding eating uh, pork I challenge you to tell me what Muhammad was eating all his life because forbidden eating pork came at the end of Islam and by the way is not even forbidden it says Ijtanibu and if it is forbidden, like as example, the, 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 uh, the drink, it says, in case of the pork, it says, if you are hungry, you can eat it. In the top of that, why the forbidden of the pork came at the end of his life? The guy is dead. So all his life, he was eating pork. If we see where it is forbidden, where, where, where the forbidden verse came, you will see the Muslim, they say to you, that this has came at the end, should be, this should be the end, the verse in the Quran. So the Muslim all their life, including Muhammad, was eating pork, drinking wine. And actually the Quran confirmed that they used to drink and they got drunk. And when two Muslims, they start beating each other. And this is at the end of the life of Muhammad. He said, which means stay away from it. So they drink, they get drunk. The Quran prays drinking. Muslim, they go to the mosque and they are totally drunk. The Quran claimed that drinking is a sign from Allah. And not only that, it's a miracle. In the top of that, Muslims all their life, they were drunk. Muhammad never opened his mouth against it. When people start making fun of him and his religion, because Muslims, they start fighting inside the mosque, beating each other. He says, oh, you believe, draw not near the prayer when you are drunken. He did not say even don't drink. He said, when you are drunk, don't go to pray in the mosque. If food will make you a better person, then the Middle East should be heaven. Go into the Middle East. You can't even your wife walk alone on the street. She will be molested. She would be kidnapped. That's why you need a guardian. A Muslim woman need a guardian with her. She's not allowed to travel alone. Why? Because Muslims are good people. The land of drugs and prostitution. Go to Morocco, go to Egypt, go to Syria, go to Lebanon. Go, 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 go. You don't eat pork. How would you drugs? We have sex with the children. We don't eat pork. So this potato here, speaking about eating, do you believe, how can you believe somebody he eat? He never wash his butt, and then we find his prophet, he wash his butt, and he drink from the same water. And he wash his face with the same water. Water have dead dogs and women blood from period. And then he says, you sit behind your desk. I sit behind my desk. Allah is sitting under my desk. What you can do about it? Scam people for your own gangs and gangs. Ah, I am the one who says, let us go and do invasion and get the blondie women. Ah, my gang. Let us attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls. Ah, remember, Christian, our thought to hate Muslims. Look who is talking about hate. Look at this filthy. Christians are taught to love Muslims, you liar. You are a son of Muta. I will share a website. Let me search.
what the Muslims teach their kids, the kids. It's a must to hate the kuffar and wash our hands from them and not to be friend to them. But one number, 176819, English translation. We should report those websites, by the way, to the FBI so they can shut it down. Or at least they can maintain and watch who is inside those websites so they can track them. I have a question that always comes to my mind. Islam is a religion of terrorists, so why do some imams in the mosque pray for the infidels? Pray for the infidels here, he mean he, they pray to kill them, you know, like against them. I think that no Muslim is satisfied with supplication over him. Messenger may Allah bless him says, I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. So that I will not pray except expect the Muslims. So he's saying that some Muslims are praying to the Christians, which is weird. I never heard of one. Uh, they are maybe living in the West. Praise be to God, the answer. He says, no questioner, that hatred for the people of the book or other infidels is, is not merely whom, who, but rather is an agreement with God and his love and worth. A Muslim, which means he have to hate non-Muslims. He have. And you can read the rest. And he is quoting for him, for him what is important about hating the Christians and the Jews. So our Lord told us in this verse that we have in Abraham a peace upon him. And he is comparing a good example when this would, their people disbelieve in them hated them and enmity with them and that is there is no end with this enmity and hatred except to the people who enter into the faith of islam alone you see it and this guy talking about hate is it the quran says that you will not find one muslim love non-muslims even if they are his families even if they are his kids not a single one. So Islam is a religion of faith. They accuse you of what they teach in their schools and their mosques. This is a religion of hate, as Quran chapter 5, verse 14 says, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. But here Allah spread hatred between us too. Allah will not allow the Muslim to be loving to non-Muslims, even if they are their parents, even if they are their spouse, even if they are their kids even if they are their brothers and sisters from their blood. And this is Quran, chapter 58, verse number 22. And this coward, he's so speaking about hatred. I mean, do those people have a shame? This is what they teach in every Islamic website. We have to hate the kuffar. They are our enemy. You will not find one person, he's true Muslim. He is nice and kind for non-believers. Then the Muslim, he will quote for you, a verse says, oh, there is, it says, those who did not fight you, you can be kind for them. This verse is abrogated. In the top of that, that was about receiving gift. Receiving gifts. The mother of Aisha, she is disbeliever. She brought a gift. Muhammad, he wanted to have the gift. So she said, but she isn't a believer. Can we take gift from her? He said, yeah, they did not fight us, so we take gift from them. But don't greet them. Don't give them peace. Don't be a friend to them. And you should hate them. Even if they are your parents, you will not find one believer, just one, is loving to those who oppose Allah. Even if they are their parents. And then he says here, you are doing Islam a favor. Allah is a planner. You are a liar. The Quran says Allah is a deceiver and they, de they deceive and Allah is the best of deceiver. We got you busted there. This is why my first book called The Deception of Allah. Same time, if Allah is the planner and he is the one who planned that we are going to be people of hate because the Quran says in chapter 5 verse number 51 
he spread the hatred between us. So how you blame me for your stupid if Allah made me hateful, if I am, and I'm not. Based in the stupid Quran, Allah is the one who made spread the hatred. Allah is the hate vendor, is the devil. If you ask any Muslim who, who likes to spread hatred, they will say shaitan. Exactly. That is Allah. It's in the front of you. Allah is shaitan. Who can say no? Because the only one, you know, if the Christian are bad, if you spread the hatred between them, what that would do? That would make them better? Is that going to fix the problem? So do God send his messenger to fix the problem or to make it worse? According to Islam, Allah is the problem. Jesus says the opposite. I came for the sick, not for the healthy. You see the difference? Muhammad is Satan. Jesus is God. He said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. The healthy are healthy. They do not need me. He came for the one who hate him. He came for the one who is lost. Allah, because he's Satan, he will spread the hatred. And then ask yourself, if Allah he spread the hatred between the Christians, is that going to fix the community? Is that going to bring peace on earth? No. That will bring war. Hatred is, 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 is hatred. We do not need to explain it. So this God is Satan. And then in chapter in the same chapter, verse number 51, he says, don't take them as a friends. So who is the one spread hatred? If you cannot take me as a friend, then I am your enemy. So I want to take you as a friend, and this is proof that the Christians are loving people. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians as a friends. So the Christian and the Jews, they want to take you as a friend. You say, no, 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 Allah forbid us. So who is the hatred? You see how we expose them and we get them busted? We have one more comment that has answered this guy. Another potato, he said. Uh, good CP, when you read the Bible, uh, how Judas died, one virgin hang himself, the second virgin fell and his stomach gushed out. That is story, but uh, coming through the man hang on the cross, his stomach gushed out. Who, who, which one? Here is, you see the city. Well, he hanged himself, he stay hanged, until his body decay. And then when his body decay, slam in the floor, and his body you know, collapse, decay. How this is can happen? He hanged himself or he, this is how he die. One verse describes how ugly his death is, and one verse says he hanged himself. So he hanged himself, he still hanged, until his body decay, his neck cannot carry him no more. And you know, when the body decays, it's mean, that's it, you're a balloon. So he fell in the ground, and his body scattered, his stomach came out. Stupid people. Our friend, we are victorious. Even our Lord in Islam is what the Muslims are waiting for. Imagine, they are not waiting for Muhammad, he's dead. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. And we buried Muhammad. But the Messiah, our Lord, is coming back. Victorious with his glory and the glory of his angels. Even the stupid Muhammad, he says, that the Messiah will come, he will be absolute just and justice. Nobody can be just and justice unless he is God. For to be just, Absolute just. Because there's no so so just. Either just or not. To be just, you have to be God. No human being can make justice. No human being. Even in any court in the world. Because to be perfectly just is not your nature. To be perfectly just is about knowing even the unseen. So nobody can lie to you. I can bring you now witnesses that this guy, he killed this guy. But maybe they are false. Just because now we have witnesses, we send them to death sentence. How many people are in jail and they are not really justly there? 
they're being framed or they are a victim of somebody else. And the real killer is outside. How many times we find, we hear stories that a person who spent 20 years of his life in jail, it turned to be he is not the one who did it. Why? Because a human being cannot be just, even if he tried to do so. The Messiah, my friend, he is the judge in the judgment day. And Muhammad the fool, he exposed his lies. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to download my videos. And the video about the previous one is going to be loaded soon. Uh, YouTube taking too long for processing. You will see it soon so you can watch it. Thank you very much. Download my videos, share them. And uh, yeah, by the way, there is a lady. I saw her uh, channel. Uh, I don't know her. I never saw her before. I saw she is an ex-Muslim and her husband. What her name? Let me see what one. Uh, Shamso. So this woman, as I understand, I watched like a video or two of her, and I would like to give her a support. I don't know her, as I said, I never, I just, before I go live, YouTube give me, uh, give me like a recommendation. Her name is Shamso. And what I understand from her video, that her and her husband, they uh, left Islam, and which means both of them, they used to be Muslims, and they became a Christians. Now, you know, it's, uh, you know her, uh, her value, I mean, the, the value of the video is not the same as like, you know, uh, let us say, scholarly made, it, it's about basic experience, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, she is an ex-Muslim, her husband ex-Muslim. She is telling you what happened to her, how she became a Christian, why she believes Islam is uh, is false. So you don't expect that you will hear a scholar, you know. But, you know, for us, we support the good ones, and the good ones are there. So if you like to support her, tell her that Christian Prince say hello to you. She doesn't know me for sure. I don't know if she heard of me. Uh, like this video here. This is the video actually recommended to me by YouTube uh, from, uh, uh, from Islam to Jesus. So say hello to her from me and, you know, let us support the good ones. And now, let us say, uh, we are done for today. We let say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And again, you can find her name. Just search her name, Shamsu, you know. It's very easy. And now you know how she looks like. Give her support, give her a like, and give her a subscription. Always, you do not need invitation to support the good ones, you know. Uh, the, the, I, you know, I, I don't ask people to subscribe to me because it's silly. I mean, why I want to ask you? But sadly, some people, they are like kids. You need to tell them what to do. You know, like go to the bathroom, wash your hands. You know, don't you know what you need to do? Support them. What you will lose, give it a like, give it a subscription, what you will lose. I mean, you are not paying even money. Don't be lazy. Be useful in something at least. Anyway, thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all. Uh, your brother, Christian Prince, was serving you humbly for today. Yesterday we have nine hours, the day before, and today we have how many? I don't know. So as long the Lord, he provides us with health to do more and more, we will do. And we are thankful to him. We took for free, and for free we give. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun.
<laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. It tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>